Yo, what is up guys? So today I just got home and I have another package from 3dcmo.com which is a 3D pen. Actually, this is my second 3D pen from them. I got this one a few months ago. Right, so let's go ahead and check the new one. Right, so I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and then proceed to the experiment. So we have lots of filaments here, which is really nice. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and proceed to the 3D Simo Multi Pro. So that's black. The other one is white. And there you go. We have this nice bag and that's the 3D Simo Multi Pro. So this is the 3D pen and it looks really nice. And this one is the power adapter. Now this one is, I think this one is for the foam cutter. And this one is the foam cutter. There's also a free lead for the soldering iron. And this one is the burning nozzle. And this one is the soldering nozzle. Now this one is the string for the foam cutter. Anything else? So we have this user's guide manual and some filaments. Right, so let's go ahead and proceed to the experiment. So before that, let's plug the power adapter and you can see the screen turning on and it will ask you for a tutorial which I'm gonna skip for now and the nozzle is now heating so all you have to do is choose the type of filament that you're gonna use so on my case I'm gonna use hips then let's go ahead and feed the filament when it's ready all you have to do is press this button to feed the filament and there you go Right, so let's go ahead and make a 3D egg protector. Alright, so our 3D egg protector is now done and let's see if it will crack. Ready, go! So it worked and it just bounced. You can see here in the slow-mo. And the egg is unharmed. Okay, let's see if it will survive on higher drop. Alright, so let's do it. 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so I guess that's a bit too high. So let's see that again in slow-mo. So sadly, it didn't survive. I think if you double the thickness of the filament, it will prevent the egg from hitting the table. Alright, so let's go ahead and check the foam cutter. So this is how you change the nozzle. All you have to do is plug it in like that. And then this one is the string for the foam cutter. Just attach it on both ends. And just tie it. So just make sure that it's fully stretched. And then this one is the base, so you can cut accurately, and then just screw it down. So that's it. Let me just plug the power adapter. You can also adjust the heat by pressing the buttons up and down. Then just press this button once to heat up the string. Then you can now cut foams like butter. Actually, this is so satisfying. So you can also adjust the angle of the base 
So if you want the straight cut, like that. Or if you want angled one, like so. You can easily cut different shapes, like this one and this one. This one is my favorite part. That's pretty cool, huh? So I just want to play a little bit more with this foam color. Alright, so let's move on to the burning nozzle. So let's just plug it in like that. And you can also select the heat. Okay, so let's go. So this is used for reshaping um, foams, burning stuff. And you can also use this to burn woods, like this one. You can engrave your name. And then lastly, we have the soldering nozzle. Alright, so that is the 3DCMO Multi Pro. So 
will i recommend it yes and if you want one go check the link in the description below hit the thumbs up share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one